Finally, after over a year of hard work, our new website is live. We're working on some tools to make it easier for us to add new content. But right now, we're just going straight into the database and doing it by hand, which is a great opportunity to show you behind the scenes how the website works. So we'll play with the database live and show you how that changes the website. But first of all, let's say goodbye to our old website. Here's our older website that we had when we were really young. Well, how did we have a website when we were that young? It's our parents. They just used it for their educational apps. And you can see that Ziva wasn't even born yet. Um, and there's me and Caleb. We're extremely young there. Caleb looks very cute. Again, we're just really cute and young there. So it's a long time ago. And this is our new website. Complete changeover. Um, quite funny that we took over our parents' YouTube channel first and now the website. Yes. Yeah, um, but they've just handed it over to us um, to do what we like with it really. And you can see we've just got my first ever video. <laughs> oh, got a, web, a ladybird on me. How did I get on me? It was in the bed. <laughs> it was in the bed. Hey. <laughs> Ziva put it in her Salvanian bed. But it's gone now. Anyways, back to the video. We've got my first ever video that sort of started this whole thing off where, we, where I hacked into my dad's computer. And we've just got a few articles here. So let's just go to electronics. You can see it's slowly filling up. We've got yep. quite a few of our videos as posts and everything. Anyways, it's quite exciting. Let's take you behind the scenes and show you guys how we put up one of these posts. We've got a web server and a database running on a Raspberry Pi in this house. <laughs> we can access that database and website that's running on the Raspberry Pi from any device in our local network. When we're happy with the changes that we've made, we push that to a live server. It doesn't matter what database that we're using, but if you're interested, we're using MySQL. On the left, we're using an application called Table Plus to view our database, and that's running on our Raspberry Pi. And on the right, we also have our website also running on our Raspberry Pi. A database consists of um, tables. The one that we're most interested in right now is posts. Each table has columns. Um, let's pick a few out. So here's one called title, and that's expecting some text. And there's another one here, ID, which is expecting a number or an integer. Um, so now we've looked at the structure, it'll make more sense to look at the data. You can see why columns are called columns, because they're vertical columns, right? Each one of these horizontal entries is called a row. We've just picked one out here, highlighted in blue. And let's have a look at um, some of these columns. So we've got the ID, which is a number, 27 there. And we've got the title, which if we scroll along, is the title breadboard. What is it and how does it work? And you can see on our website, breadboard, what is it and how, is, how does it work? Um, if we just keep going along here, the teaser, I've already missed that. If we just go into Quick Look Editor, a detailed introduction to breadboards for complete beginners, including an easy circuit, and here, a detailed introduction to breadboards, etc. Um, so you can see that's what that is, that's the teaser. And let's just edit this a little bit. Um, I'll just put hello. And if I can just, I can just upload that, save it, refresh the page, have a little look. Yeah, our hello's appeared. So if I just click on it, <laughs> if I just click on it, okay, loves her. In the browser, let's have a little look at this part of the path. So you see it's breadboard for beginners, all you need to know, with hyphens in between. And if we scroll along here, under the URL title column, we've got breadboard for beginners, all you need to know. So that's what that is. So how about the content of this post? Well, we do this all in a very simple language called Markdown, and then that gets converted into HTML, which our browser can understand, and then it produces this. Well, where is that Markdown stored? Well, it's in our database under the column body. Um, so if we just open Quick Look Editor, here is all the Markdown that produces this post. Let's edit this Markdown. So if we just do two hashes, which creates a heading, and then just do Hello World. Um, if we just save that, once we refresh the web page, we should see a heading, Hello World. Refresh, and we've got Hello World as a heading. If we go to electronics, we should see all of the posts under electronics. So here, the third one along, we can see that we've got our breadboard video with the one we've just been looking at. Um, how does it know 
that this video needs to be in this electronics category. Well, if we come onto our database um, and we have selected our breadboard post and scroll along here to the ID, we can see it's ID number 27. So we're going to have to remember that, 27. Um, then if we go to category post, we look for our post ID and remember 27, which is here. And then we look for the category ID. So I'll select that. And then we look under category ID and that's category ID number two. The next thing we're going to do is go to categories and look for category ID number two, which is name electronics. So that's how the system knows how to put this under electronics. Let's change that. Um, let's say we just want to put it in category mathematics. Well, that's got an ID of number seven. So we're going to remember that and we'll close this. Go back to category post and find our post ID, which is 27. And we're going to change this category ID to number seven from number two. So that should be in mathematics. So press enter. I'm going to save this. And once we've reloaded the page, breadboard should disappear from here. So I'll just reload it. And it's disappeared. And it should be in mathematics. Let's go there. Yeah, there's our breadboard video. Um, it can also be in multiple categories so if I scroll down here I can probably find one that's in multiple categories well 28 right underneath is in category 5 2 and 4 so let's just go to categories and see what those are 5 2 and 4 um, Pico electronics and Raspberry Pi I'm interested in what post that is so if we go back it was post ID was 28 so let's just go to posts and look for number 28 here and that is Ah, this that's the video where we put the header pins on our Raspberry Pi Pico. So that makes sense. Let's go to Pico. We've got our header pins. The other one was Raspberry Pi. And there's our header pins once again. And the last one was electronics. And you can see our header pins was there as well. I really hope you found this video interesting. Any questions about the website or if you want us to do more videos like this or anything about database queries or anything in general that you want to learn or anything, please let us know in the comments. Please spread the word about our website because it took about around a year to make. Um, so a lot yeah. of hard work, took a long time. Yeah, so please spread the word and please like this video. Um, Subscribe to our yep. YouTube channel if you haven't already. And have a good day. Bye.